Well, hi everyone. I'm Bill. I'm Ann. And we are the Amateur Adventurers Club. And today we're gonna do our Snoozy 2 walkthrough. We have our brand new Snoozy 2 that we just took delivery of two weeks ago. And this is our first real camping weekend with it. We did one night um, right after we bought it. Uh, but uh, we wanna do a walkthrough, give everybody a chance to see what the Snoozy looks like inside and out. So we'll start with the outside. Next video. All right, I'm gonna start with that corner here. We got the fantastic fan. We got the Thetford cartridge toilet. There's the cartridge right there. Easy in, easy out. We'll work our way over here. We went with the optional spare tire and spare tire holder. Your gray water drain right down this corner. This is a standard window. City water hookup. Your tank fill for your water on board, 25 gallon. We went with the cable TV hookup. Front storage compartment that's under the bed. This comes with it to work the jacks. Batteries in here, four gallon hot water Bosch hot water tank. It goes all the way across to the other side, which this is, these doors are standard now. The front leveling jacks, the fronts are optional, the backs are standard. This is the small window in the bedroom. That is an option. 30 amp shore power. Alright, of course you got the hydraulic brakes, two inch ball for the hitch. The other storage access, the converter right here. The other side, that's an option. You can get one, you get both, you get none. We went without the window right here. This is the entertainment area inside. We decided that we were gonna put a TV on the entertainment counter and we didn't want to TV, the TV to block the window. This window is standard. Exterior 110 outlet, optional. Eight thousand BTU air conditioner. It works great. Uh, we had it cranking. We were down in Myrtle Beach our very first night after we picked it up two weeks ago, and uh, we had it nice and chilly inside. So we went with the. Uh, we purchased our spa steps at Amazon. Uh, we decided to go with the spa steps and not the optional one that comes that is offered by uh, Snoozy. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, outside. So now we're gonna head inside. So we have the screen door. The handle goes down. Thank you. Still working out uh, okay. all the little things on it here. So you can leave it open for fresh air. Kitchen area contains a nice little sink. Get some of our stuff done. It's got a beautiful window that uh, lines on all the windows. It has storage underneath for garbage supplies for cleaning and what have you. It's got the, re the freezer and the refrigerator. It's very, this is already frozen. I have a bag of ice in here. Now that's just um, a 110 refrigerator. We didn't get the 12 volt truck refrigerator. So it's solid as could be. Refrigerator. Perfect for what we need it for. Over here on this side, here we have our bathroom, our wet bath they call it. So it has a toilet, which he showed you the, the cassette for that. Also has a handheld shower. We used it for the first time today. It, it's gonna take some getting used to, but it's definitely doable. You feel, at least you feel clean when you're, when you're through. That's the purpose. A lot of storage, we have lots of cabinets up here. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out what should go where. So we're going to have to figure 
placement of things. We've got a lot of cabinet space for what we're going to need for here. We have a microwave here. We have our, our whole um, panel. The electrical panel. Electrical panels here. Uh, under here is just another, some storage. we got two cabinets of storage. Lots of cabinets. Doors. Very nice red oak. Um, what I've seen in a lot of other campers, uh, the quality is not there, but uh, the snoozy crew does a good job with the cabinets. We really like them. And what with the option of having the entertainment, what they call um, entertainment shelves? Shelves. So yep, those are options. Side. So it's kind of nice to throw your hats and purses and whatever jackets up there. The couch here, this uh, folds out into a bed. Jackknife couch. Jackknife. It's a pretty good size. I'm just going to do a quick display. So, pretty good size for a couple small children, one adult. Doable if we have an overnight guest, which will probably be a grandkid or two at one time. Pull the back Ouch. towards you. I can't reach it. That's the problem. Okay, we're back. So, Fighting with the jackknife couch a little bit. A little bit. We have a queen size bed. This is where that other window, we have the option of having that other window. Um, we just opted not to have it so we could have a TV here, entertainment area. We're going to try a 32 inch and see how it works. That's what we have I think here now. That's more that than enough for uh, when we're supposed to be camping, anyways. The windows, we did do a little mock, mock uh, curtain area just because the only problem we find is that he sleeps on this side of the bed, so his feet kept kicking the uh, blind all night. So we had to somehow come up with a Okay, yeah, we're to keep we're, it keep the light out. Yeah, but. we're trying some blackout curtains um, and see how that works. But we're having trouble getting the Velcro to stick to the walls so we're on the fiberglass. A, something. We'll come up with a better solution, but for the most part, we just need it on the one window because we have the blinds over here. Plenty of lights. Plenty very of comfortable so far. I haven't had any issues. I like the real mattress. Um, I didn't want to sleep on four-inch foam cushions, as I keep saying. So having the full queen mattress or what they call an RV queen. A little bit shorter, but the same width as a normal queen. Uh, lots of storage underneath. So we decided that it would, we would use laundry baskets for all of our clothes. Instead of suitcases. It's just a lot easier to pull the laundry basket out and go through stuff. So we're gonna see how that works out. Plenty we of- We have a little, little space heater we brought with us. It does come with one. This I think works a little bit better than the one that we, that we uh, got with the camper. Um, and it's, it's got a temperature control, so when it reaches the temperature, it'll stop, it'll shut off, and then it'll come back on when it cools down a little bit. Kept it plenty of warm last night. It was uh, yeah. it was chilly out. We were probably in the high 40s last night for temperature Fahrenheit. So we and did add another, uh, we added some of these hooks. I had got, gotten these for Bill for Christmas a little while back. We didn't know where to put them in the house, so when we decided to go with the snoozy, we sent them down to the company. and. Can you find a nice spot where those would, and this is absolutely perfect. Hang Thank you, Sean. They, they are a perfect personal touch to our camper. And that's it. We love it. Hopefully many, many, many trips. Plenty future. of lights, but um, one thing that we did pick up, and I think we bought them on Amazon, are these tap lights, which are just run by uh, AAA batteries, but makes for a nice little night light if Ann wants to read at night. And she doesn't have to reach up and reach for this one right here, uh, right here. But um, the snoozy crew did a great job. There's plenty of lights. When all the lights are on, this is, is lit up very nicely. The floor is, um, you get to pick your floor, you get to pick your countertop. And I can't remember what the, uh, what the name of it is, but this yeah. is what we decided on, and it, we love it. Yep, we like the combination. So it, it flows well probably, for it, us. It's the one that, that was recommended. It's the most popular, so that's the one we went with. Another thing about the Snoozy being fiberglass, a um, lot of less, I should say, less chance or no chance of it rotting. Um, I like the fiberglass concept, and um, nothing on the roof. As you can see, there's not going to be uh, any leaks, no air conditioning, no vents, no antennas. Uh, it was a big selling point for me. So that wraps up our tour inside and out of our new Snoozy 2. Uh, we are currently at the Villages at the Turning Stone Resort in Oneida, New York. 
I'll do a quick walk around to see the campground, the campsite. There's our makeshift kitchen. Our tow vehicle, we tow it with a 1500 Ram, which works out fine. We have friends staying next to us. There's our little, what Ann calls the Blackstone. That works out great, little propane for food prep. And our friends, Rick and Lisa, who are Hi. also camping this weekend. Hello. Hope you our video. Many more to come. See you on the next adventure.